I'll say this to you. I'm not, I feel no need to appease anybody. I feel so confident about the body of work that I just dropped that I know I could go and disappear for whatever, six months, a year, two years, even though I'm not really like into the, <laughs> I'm not really into the lengthy, super lengthy disappearances for the sake of mystery. But, you know, ultimately it's coming to me in a way that I haven't experienced maybe since like, if you're reading this, where it's just kind of like, I feel like I'm on drugs. I feel like I'm in that mental state without doing anything. I did those songs in the last five days. I didn't have one bar written down for those songs on the night that For All The Dolls dropped. It's not like I'm picking up from some unfinished shit, you know? This is just, it, it's, it's happening on its own. And, you know, who am I to fight it, right? And to fight back against the right thing would be, well, you know. I always want more. Um... I'm, for some reason, like, ready to go back and start working on new music. I think less than the dollar value, it's just more about um, the idea of growth and business, business mindset, too. You know, 25 million um, at the time seemed crazy to me, but when you start becoming a headlining touring act and, you know, brands want to get involved with you and you can go do private events and whatnot, it's, you know, you're capable of making it. And now I want to, you know, for sure, obviously keep touring, keep making music. But now I see that there's other ways, um, you know, as far as like, you know, this global ambassador thing, as far as maybe starting, I want to invent something. I want to, I want to start a, I want to start a company. I want to do something that has maybe nothing to do with music. Well, I why do you care so much about success? Have you figured that out? I'm just addicted to it. I just, why? um, I think that I've sacrificed so much for it already and dedicated so much of my time that um, I have to push it as far as I possibly can because I've uh, given up a lot of years as far as um, maybe like nurturing like personal relationships go and um, you know trying to build things like a, a family or a relationship or a, I don't, I don't like, I don't do any of that. I just kind of work. Things that I repetitively think about or say, I'm able to manifest. Like, you know, this house, for example, I manifested this because I obsessively used to take my uncle's Audi and I used to take a girl to Young and Eglinton, Silver City to the movies, and then to Pickle Barrel for, for dinner. And then I used to go tell her like, yo, you, you wanna go see where I'm gonna live one day? Yeah. Cause this is where I'm gonna live one day. And I, my uncle had the Audi and I used to drive these same three streets right here. That used to be my route right there. I used to come down, down Park Lane where we're at, then back back to Post Road and then back Bridal Path. And I used to, and Prince used to live around here. Oh wow, wow. So I used to, I used to pretend like I knew which one Prince's house was every night I'd pick a different house. Even if I do a good job, I always wonder, you know, how I could have done it better. I rarely celebrate anything. And um, just for anyone watching this that's wondering how this happened, you know, that's really the answer. It's, um, it's being so unsure how you're getting it done that you just, you just kind of keep going in the hopes of figuring out the formula. Um, just feeling so lucky and blessed that the fear of losing it keeps you up at night. I didn't really write a grandiose speech about how to make it work or what it took, because, you know, to be really honest with you, I, I, don't, I don't quite understand it myself, but uh, I know that I've spent an incalculable amount of hours trying to analyze all the things I did wrong, but tonight, for once, I'm sure as hell we did something right. While you're on the journey, you have to disconnect from the end goal, you know? Because if you're just focused on some end goal, then you're, you might get there, but it'll be hard to progress past that because you're so focused on that one destination that it's like, you know, you, you, you maybe forget everything in between and maybe you could have done more in between. Just be, he always told me like, just be here right now, live right now and do the in best the you can right now. Don't worry about what that end goal is. It's great to have goals, it's great to have dreams, but it's just like you get too attached to it and sometimes it can be a self-destructive thing. So, I mean, I just kind of try and progress as much as I can. The feeling I get when I'm, out in the world is one of one of respect. I think that my career has a lot of integrity and I think I'm very excited about that because I think I could have let that drop a bunch of times 
And I also think one of my biggest accomplishments is the fact that I didn't let this massive, massive change in my life destroy me, you know? I still don't, I'm, I still don't do drugs, you know, I drink, but even if I drink every day, I don't drink to black out, I don't drink to escape my sadness, I don't drink to the point that it affects my family or my career. I think I'm just happy that I'm still intact. You know, that's my biggest accomplishment. I made a lot of money, you know, I made a lot of, did a lot of things, been a lot of places, had a lot of opportunities to f this up and yeah. didn't. And, you know, I could be at dinner with my mom and still hear her say like, you know, I'm proud, you're still you, you're in there, you know? I'm looking at you, you're there, it's you. It's not like a shell of who you used to be or something like that, you know? I love my space, I love my work, and I love my routine. And for me to break that for somebody, it would just have to be like a really special person that fits into that puzzle and that is supportive of the things I'm doing. It has to be somebody that has taste in music. It has to be somebody that, that I get along with so much to the point that when we're separate, I'm feeling like I can't function properly without their presence. I don't want to be number two. I think that would be a weird thing to sit here and say, or I don't care, you know, I, I, I want to make this, this city proud, you know? Uh, that, that's, that's a main reason for me. And number one, it takes a while to even become that. I, 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 don't, I, I, don't, I don't even know what number, it's, it's like number, I hate numbers, by the way, you know? Um, I, I like to say I just want to win, you know? It doesn't even matter. Okay, best I ever had was a cute one, but he needs another one. Nah, another one. Now, that, you know what? Okay, he did it, but can he do it again? No, again. No, again. No, again. You know what? He's just a lucky guy.